Okay, so the first thing you want to do is line up your t-shirt so the two ends are even. Now we're going to cut a straight line across the bottom, make it as straight as possible but it doesn't have to be perfect. Don't throw away that strap because we're going to use it later. Alright, now we're going to line up the bottoms again and get out our ruler. We're going to measure it to be about 3 inches up and then you're going to cut the side slit so you're cutting the t-shirt on the side three inches up and my scissors are really dull alright so it should look like that so line it back up and we're going to take the scissors and we're going to cut little like tassels or whatever they're called I don't know and we're going to cut them three inches up all the way across the bottom of the shirt do them about an inch or half an inch apart you don't want them to be too thin or else they could break and make sure they're all about even or else it'll just be bad And then when you get to the very end of the t-shirt, you're going to cut up the side slit like we did last time. Alright, now you're going to take the top and bottom piece of each tassel, and you're going to tie it in a knot, and then you're going to tie it in another knot. And I always tie the second knot a lot tighter than the first one, just to ensure it'll stay. And then you're going to do that all the way across the bottom of the t-shirt. So just keep going until you're done. Alright, so once you finish that, we're going to stretch it out a little bit. If you like it bunched up, you don't have to stretch it out, but I just wanted to stretch it out a little bit and it makes the bottom of your purse bigger. Now onto the sleeves. Line up the sleeves so they're even, and then take your scissors and cut a straight line up the sleeves. You could use a ruler and make a perfect straight line, but it's not necessary. We're going to pretty much repeat what we did on the bottom to the sleeves. Take a side, si side slit, I can't talk, bleh, and cut it all the way to the edge of the sleeve. Then make your little tassels or fringe. That's what it's called. It's called fringe. Okay. And cut it all the way to the end of the sleeve like we did on the bottom. When you get to the end, cut another like little side slit. And then you're just going to tie them like we did on the bottom and then you're going to repeat that for the other side. Okay, the um, little fringe on the other on the sleeves is kind of long and I didn't really like that so I'm cutting it down a little bit. If you like it you can leave it or you can cut it like me. Okay, so now we're going to make a little indent in the neck of the collar. That doesn't make sense. Okay, but we're going to make a little indent and then we're going to cut around the collar. So we're going to get our opening. Make sure you cut it really tight the first time because it does stretch a lot. Alright, so we're going to stretch it out. If you want your opening bigger, you can cut it more, but I like it like mine is. Alright, now for the strap. So we're going to measure about an inch in, and then we're going to take our scissors, and we're going to cut a little hole. And then we're going to take our strap from earlier, and 
we're going to thread it through that hole. Then you're going to open up the little loop, loop-de-doop part, and push the um, other string through it and pull it tight. And there's the first part of your strap. Now repeat the little snipping a hole an inch in on the other side. So just kind of line it up, measure an inch in. Or you can eyeball it, I just like to measure. Cut it, make sure you're really careful because you don't want to cut it on both sides, you just want to cut right at the top. Like that. And then thread your other part through. And on this side you have to tie a double knot. So tie it in one knot and then another. And there you go. And ta-da! There's your new hobo bag. It's great for the pool or sleepovers. Request more DIY videos or any other video you want to see in the comments.